Where's the broken bridge? I'm gonna have to take care of these machines before I can look around. Crazies. Is he filling up the canisters on our backs? I can grab this from my stash later. Looks like Kalai and the search party took down a few machines when they were here. Now to look for Kali's seed pouch. I better start at the bridge. Footprints. Must be from the search party. Bree said this is where they found his wife's instrument. The search party concluded Kalai's body was probably carried away by the river. But from up there, that old tree would have caught her. I don't think she actually fell. I should check up at the promontory. Maybe the search party missed something. It looks like the search party took the trail under the stone arch. That must be the way up to the promontory.
debris. There must have been another path up. Guess Kalai and the search party climbed the cliff instead. This broke off some time ago. Where do I get the feeling this isn't going to be an easy trail to follow? Utaru Trailhead. Looks like this is where the Rite of Discovery started. Debris on the trail. Oh, it looks like pieces of a bridge. Looks like this fell down here a long time ago. Maybe from a storm. The trail's broken away. Kalai must have climbed her way up, too. If Kalai made it to the top, she must have been a good climber. It doesn't add up that she fell. This must be the promontory. Looks like Kalai was doing something at that stone table. I should take a look. I was playing song. Just like the first Tutaru saw it. Flowers. Ground into a dye. Kalai must have done this as part of her ritual. I should look around. My focus will help me figure out what happened to her. Search party was up here, all right. There's too many tracks to pick out Kalai's. Looks like the edge broke off recently. I still don't think she could have fallen into the river from here. I should keep looking around. of something on their petals. The dye Kalai was wearing. Looks like it left a trail. Too faint for the search party to have noticed, but my focus can pick it up. 
There's the die trail. Looks like it leads away from the cliff edge. This must be part of the rite of discovery. All of the milks look old. Kai must not have gotten to this part. Die trail ends here. With a lot of broken branches. I should take a closer look. were snapped off recently from some kind of struggle and over here drag marks looks like they lead through this thicket i can follow them with my focus Two bodies? One must be Kalai, but who's the other woman? Kalai. Those marks on her neck. She was strangled. At least I can return her seed pouch to Bree. So the killer must have tried to push Kalai off the cliff. That's why the search party found her instrument by the river. But Kalai fought back. So the killer strangled her. And then dragged her here. Just yet. Oh, Stucker's got a friend. Just what I needed. Okay. I better grab the killer's seed pouch. Might help identify her. Maybe Fane and Cal back in Plainsong will know who the seed pouch belongs to.
We all lament Kalei's death, but perhaps it's time to move on. No. That's Kalei's. You found it. Bree. Kalei didn't fall. She was murdered. What? I went up to the promontory. I found Kalai and the body of the woman who killed her. That's impossible. The search party already checked up there. There was nothing. The bodies were in a separate clearing. Away from where the search party checked. A stalker had mauled her while she was trying to hide Kalai's body. Who was she? I was hoping you would know. I brought back her seed pouch. It belongs to Lina. Kel's apprentice. I don't understand. Why would she do this? Maybe we should ask Kel. But she... You, there. Where is Kel? I saw her leave out the East Gate about an hour ago. She's going home. Summer wind. She's running away? Well, she needs to stand trial. I can catch her. Where is this place? Look for a ruined settlement at our southern border. It's her childhood home. We will get the guards and try to catch up with you. Running, children. Aloy. Plain song. May the wind carry you. It's only a matter of time once you went up that cliff. You stood right next to the man whose wife you had murdered and told him to move on. I never wanted any of this to happen. Then why? Calais sowed the seeds of discord. She wanted the Utaru to leave Plainsong, abandon our home. If that thought caught on, it would have been more destructive than any sickness or machine. So you had her killed? There is a natural order to all things. Growth, decay, death. It's the way of the world. A tree cannot pick up its roots, so I stopped what was threatening us. I'm sorry it came to it, but it's over now. I'm gonna make sure you pay for all the suffering you've caused. Too late. You think you stopped Kalai's beliefs from spreading? But when people hear what you did, they'll cast aside the old ways even more. No. And you won't be around to do anything about it. No! She needed to stand trial! Kalai deserves justice! Kel thought that silencing Kalai would silence her beliefs. 
prove her wrong. That will give Kalai justice. It isn't much, but I want you to have this as thanks. I won't have to spend the rest of my days wondering what happened to Kalai. Blighted are the leaves. Three of our people dead. And for what? I admit it. I never wanted you among us. But now, it seems I must thank you for revealing the rot that had taken hold here. I'm sorry it had to happen this way. At least with the rot removed, new growth can thrive. <laughs>